what is going on, like a man, one, two, three, are back in the video, and today so I'll be reviewing the Legend Jago Masters Osby Jitsu set 70735 Ronin's Rex. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first minifig is Kai, and I really like the inclusion of his shuriken, which you can throw at the ghost, because the main idea for Season 5 of Ninjago is Possession, which is a bunch of ghosts, and I don't want to spoil the rest of it in case you guys haven't seen it. So I like how it's the same colours as Kai because it is red, and then I, I like like the shape of it as well. The torso and leg printing on Kai is pretty cool. I like how like the legs and the torso like match in printing because it does continue with his like belt here, and then he does have some tie sort of shin pads. And then he does have a dagger-like weapon there. And then I like the print just there. I'm not really sure what that symbol is supposed to be. But the red, the black, the silver, and the gold makes some pretty nice printing. And then at the back, it seems he has like some daggers or like hook molds. They're not sure what they're supposed to be. And then I do like the red dragon there. His ninja mask is in that two-piece, which I really do like. And the black and the red work very nicely together but I kind of wish with this knot they maybe had it going down to here back then because with the legacy ones I think they are pretty cool and work for the knot and the colors his face expression is quite an angry one and it does have like this sort of scar on him just there so that is pretty cool and he doesn't have any other face expressions the next minifig is Ronin, and this is the first time the ninjas are getting introduced to Ronin, and he is pretty full up on weapons. He does have two stud shooters and two swords in the holster. His torso and leg printing are really cool. I like the green color and just the amount of detail on there with like this sort of turtle shell print there, and then like his belt, some pad printing, and then some even some shoe printing. I also like how they've given like one of the turtle shells like a different color print like this sort of gold brown color to show that it's like worn out so I do like that and then here is a look at the side of just the comparison of the color green I also like how one of these arms or sleeves are a different color we have an orange one and then this color of green which I'm not really sure what color that is if we do take off his stud shooters you could see a bit more of that printing he also does have this really nice hat piece and half ninja mask in a dark red the hat piece is really cool because i do like the top design up there because i have always wanted to get one of these pieces because i think they do look really cool and master Wu does have one and i think it looks pretty cool so i hopefully want to get a lot more of these hat pieces and the Half mask is also pretty cool to get in that color because I believe we haven't got um, a half mask piece in dark red ever before. So that is pretty cool. So now we'll take a look at his face expression a bit more and then also some back. So taking that all off, it reveals he does have a pretty cool face expression. He does have like this eye patch, sort of a cyborg eye, which is cool. And he does have quite a sort of sarcastic smile you could possibly say and then I do like the bead printing on him as well and then doesn't have any other face expression but the sort of eye patch does continue at the back and the torso printing at the back is also very interesting because I'm not really sure what like these green sleeves are supposed to represent is it where like the swords would go on an actual minifig it's just quite confusing but I do like it nonetheless the next minifig is one out of two ghost minifigs you do get. The first ghost is called Gulta, and I must say, I really do like the prints and also the design of this minifig. First, his weapon is pretty cool with this black spear piece, and then this cool brown piece, and then one of these horn pieces in this really nice green color, and then this translucent sword green piece with a blue line going through the center is pretty cool. I like how they've molded it with these sort of cuts there. Instead of legs on this minifig, I like how they've given this translucent green piece with a 
blue stripe going through to show that he is a ghost. I also really like his shoulder armor. I like how there's rips in it to like show that it's quite old. And then I do like the design of it with like this black part here and then this blue part going down and then also at the back. So now we'll take a look at his torso. His torso print is quite an interesting design. There's a lot of strange things happening like this light green color like just going down there and then it seems to be maybe a spine which is quite scary and deep but I'm not actually quite sure but I do like how they've done that and then I do like his dark gray sleeves and then with white hands he also does have another one of those hat pieces but this time it's in purple which I do believe is exclusive to this set and he does have a dark blue half mask piece, which is pretty cool to get in this color. Sorry about that noise in the background. His torso print at the back is also a pretty interesting design, and I'm really not sure how to explain it. It just looks like there's a heaps of rips in the back of his torso because of his travels or like where he's been trapped. So now we'll take a closer look at his face. So his facial expression is pretty cool. It is this skull. I like how you can see his jawline. And his eyes do look pretty menacing. And he does have a print for nostrils. Which is pretty interesting because most minifigs don't have noses. But sometimes minifigs can have noses. And this translucent green headpiece is really cool. And you can just see where the head actually does attach. Which I find Pretty interesting. And then at the back, it does have a bit more printing. And this, I believe, is the back of his skull. And there is a piece of metal going in a diagonal line to cover up a crack in his skull because there is a print of a crack. But then at the bottom of that, like this print just here, I'm not really sure what that is supposed to represent. So now we'll take a look at the last minifig. The next minifig is the second ghost. And I must say, I really do like her translucent legs in that green. I like also how the prints do continue from the torso down to the legs. And then I like almost like we've got some rips like slowly coming down her legs, which is pretty interesting. She does have a dark blue belt and then a few more like rips and tears on the torso. And then her light cream green sword is actually a pretty interesting color as well. It shows like maybe a ghost color because this is the ghost season and then the at the back it shows a bit more of her torso where she has ripped it but I really do like this dark blue print there because it does match with her dark blue sleeves or arms taking off the hood piece it does reveal another translucent head and then a very menacing laugh or smile with some pretty big purple eyebrows and then a vampire like teeth and then this hood piece is actually pretty cool. I like how it has this translucent green part here and then this cool blue part here. It does cover up most of her face, which is quite a shame because that is a pretty cool face. But I do like the design and the mold of it with the green coming out of the back. The next part of the set isn't actually a minifig nor a builder because he's only one piece, but he's still a very important part of this set and this is the character schema he too is a ghost he is holding a dagger and then also a piece of chicken on minifig hands so whatever a minifig can hold i assume he can hold as well i just really like the design and the mold they chose to make schema his face expression is pretty creepy as well and then i also like the back of him where it has like the sort of swervy design and then there is a gap in the bottom of him. I assume maybe you could put him on top of a minifig to look like they've been possessed. But that might be just for decoration. So the first build in this set is the dragon. And I must say the colours of this dragon are pretty nice. I like the light cream green on the tail. And then the wing pieces are pretty interesting as well. With some dark blue, some light blue and then some light cream green also with the head it does have some dark blue some dark gray some translucent colors just here and also at the back 
and then this really interesting black piece and then also once again some light cream green but my only problem with this dragon would be the fact that he looks way too skinny I kind of wish they maybe made him a bit thicker and that was a bit of a weak attachment but I just wish they made him a bit more thicker because he does look like a pretty unhealthy dragon but the design of the head and colors are great he also does have room to fit a minifig on this saddle here and then also there's a lot of move movement with this dragon with the tail which can move a fair bit and then the wings do have a ball attachment so they can move pretty well and then the head also does have a ball attachment and then the horns just have a bar and clip attachment so now we'll take a look at the main build for this set so the main build for this set is of course Ronin's Rex and I must say the colors and design are really nice I think they work very well together the colors and the build is pretty cool as well I like the design of it and I just liked how all the features are jam-packed and the play feature does look pretty cool so at the front we do have these two like sort of gun defense I like how they can move up and down depending on where your target is and then on either side there is this golden sword with this mold and then a just regular golden sword and then there's these headlights here the first sticker is this hazard sticker with like splodges of pain on there from his ship and then this sticker as well and then also the hazard sticker is on the other side and then we have this pretty cool build with a lot of features happening with it we have this pipe here and then this sort of long sword and then another one of these hat pieces in gold i believe this is like a sort of bazooka type weapon where you could detach it so that is pretty cool i do like the design of that using some pretty cool pieces especially this barrel piece and then you can take this part off here and then open it up to put in a few minifigs i like just how much is actually happening in here it seems to be like a microwave in here maybe or just to store like some stuff and then the main minifig which is ruined actually sits in this part here so i do like that idea where you can put the roof to a minifig in here and then bring it back up i do like the design of the seat and then there is also a sticker just if i can get a good angle just there of his computer so you could just easily put that back down and that window piece is pretty cool the top part of it is really interesting with some great designs and colors i especially like this design here just looks really smooth and well done this part and this part do have stickers on them and then i do like these parts as well and there's a lot of gears and features like that what are put into this set but i do think it is totally worth it and then inside his ship he does have a very crucial part to season five i've actually forgotten the name of it but i know it's the sword of that's all i actually remember but i do like getting it in this set and then also inside you can open that up and there is a cart or no a crate there so you can put stuff in and then you can just see a better picture of his seat so that is pretty cool and then this handle piece is where you actually hold it so you can zoom it around and also do the play feature which i will show but i'm not going to release it because it'll probably get lost or break something but it is really fun to do because with this rip cord and that is air jitsu i also like the design of this part here and they can move in a 360 degree way and then these stickers are pretty cool as well. So here is the main Technic part. So you can release this. And then also move a lot of the other features. I just love how Technic this is. I'm not a huge fan of Technic. So to have it in a Ninjago set. I was not looking forward to it. But I must say I really did enjoy building it. Because sometimes there was a lot of repeat. But then other times we were just building a lot of Technic stuff. You can also move this to move both of these parts. So just quickly, I thought I would show you how the air jitsu works and then also what the effect is. So this is the main part for air jitsu. I do like the design of it, but I wish it was a red color to show this is 
Kai's air jutsu because he is the one who is doing the air jutsu in this set. But the design of it is really cool because the minifig is actually supposed to go in this part. But I did take him out so I could put him on display. So to do the play feature, you do rip this cord, which I did show a few minutes ago. So we'll test that out right about now. So it does work pretty nicely. And it's nice and smooth, and when it does come down from a high distance, it is, instead of just slamming on the ground, it slowly glides down, which I do like. So I'll quickly do another one. So I really do like that, and it's a fun feature to have fun with. So now I'll show you the box and the manuals in this set. So the box has a really nice design overall, and in the top right corner it does show Lloyd being possessed and then I do like the night sky in the background and then the animation of this fight is really nice as well a lot of really cool features with like the shots here the bazooka firing and then the swirly detailing there and also with the ghost they have some pretty cool animation and then at the back it does show a few features which I did show and it also does have another picture of the night sky and a Another small battle going on, and it does have one build, two rip, three fly, which is pretty cool. And then it does show you to collect all of the shuriken so you can defeat all the ghosts all up. I believe there is five, and I did get number three. So, yeah, so now I'll show you the two manuals in this set. So, the first manual does show some advertisements, the first one being advertisement for the other Ninjago sets you can collect in this wave and then also an advertisement for some artwork for possession I really do like how this was made it looks like a lot is happening in this one scene and then the other manual because you do get to show some advertisements as well the first one being the Ninjago Air Jitsu spinners you can collect so there is six to collect and then an advertisement for the Lego Ninjago Shadow of Ronin available now game and then here are all the platforms which you can get it on so hopefully one day I'll actually get that game. So if you guys did enjoy this pretty long review on the Lego Ninjago Masters of Speed Jitsu set 70735 Ronin's Rex and if you guys stayed all the way to the end I really do appreciate it it does mean a lot and I can see you soon. Goodbye.